Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Police Quest Open Season, where we're at the uh, shortstop bar. We're having a look around some of the locations we've been to before, trying to figure out what it is we're meant to be doing now. Um, the shortstop, famous for being the Chief's least favourite watering hole for his officers. Yeah, um, can we get any more of those pretzels? Because they were pretty handy, actually. You take a few pretzels. Yeah, we can. Alright, nice. Can we talk to any of these guys? Hello, how are you? I'm not looking for any goddamn company, okay? Thanks anyway. Alright. What about you? Hi there, how you doing? Hey! Can't you see I'm concentrating here? Alright. Everyone here is very, um... Aggressive. Hello, Miss. It's Miz, and I'm not interested. I mean... Hello, Neil. How are you? Fine, kid. I see you're having trouble with the press. A little bit, yeah. Uh, what is it you're trying to say? Things well, kid. If the heat's too much, better get out of the kitchen. <laughs> All right, fine. Doesn't look like there's much we can do here, then. Um, I very much doubt we're meant to be going back here or here. So, we've got Hollywood and Vine we've been to, Griffith Park we've been to, the theatre was closed, there was no one at uh, the Washington House, uh, we've got the morgue, we've got the academy we've done, shortstop bar, Hickman's house maybe? And then if this is nothing, then I guess we head back to the station and file paperwork or something. <laughs> Can't really think of it. Why do we always screech up to this place like that? Kind of weird. Right, let's see if we can find out anything else from Hickman's wife, maybe? Knocking seems less intrusive than ringing the doorbell. Yeah, as you tell me every single time. Thank you. It appears no one is home at this time. And no one is home, so it looks like we probably are just going back to the station then. Uh, oh, we can just do map from here. Uh, where are we? Parker Center. Nice. Alright, so maybe we just come here, file some paperwork, and then something else will happen. I guess. Do we have anything we can turn in? Let's have a look. I mean, we've got the newspaper clipping. We've got this wing mirror as well. Maybe we can show that. We've still got the cigarette and the shoe. We already showed the pills. And I think we showed the cigarette, didn't we? Because it wasn't a match or something. Or was that a different suit? I can't even remember, to be honest. It was so long ago. Alright, let's put our badge on. Uh, where is it? There. You attach your Parker Center ID to your suit. Brilliant. Alright, let's head... Should we head and do... Oh, no, do you know what? We'll head... We'll head down to the basement. We'll talk to, um... Oh, is it Chester in the basement? Then we'll head up to four and we'll speak to Teddy. And then we'll go and file paperwork, because that seems to be the order that you do things, right? You do, like, the paperwork at the end of the day, perhaps. You press the button to call the elevator. And those guys might have an update for us anyway, in terms of, you know, things that have been processed, or, you know, maybe they've got an update on the bone that we gave to the, um, coroner, things like that. So, yeah, it seems that Teddy is actually the guy the here. As your destination. According to what you guys were saying, Teddy is the guy up on floor four, not the coroner, as I thought. The coroner apparently is Sam, so there we go. <laughs> but I lucked out by giving the coroner the bone, so apparently that's like skipping a step, but it's okay, so it's about time. As I was saying to Hot Lava Tube in the comments, after being robbed of the good ending in Police Quest 3 by some sort of weird glitch, happy to take any bit of luck that I can get. Hello, detective. How can I help you? Hello. Do you have any update for us? Hello, Chester. Hello, Chester. Oh, we can ask about the toxicology. Do you have a preliminary on Jane Doe 1201K's body fluids? Nothing's back yet, Carrie. We sent samples out to Quantico. Whatever we're dealing with, it's lethal. Unknown and lethal. Hmm. Okay. Anything else? No. Okay, can we show her any of these things that we've got here? Okay, so you have a mirror. Now what? I don't know. I was hoping you could tell me something about it. Um, what's this? Oh, that's the funeral thing, isn't it? Uh, nothing there. Can we show you? I think 
let's just try and show all of our evidence. Chester, have you heard of either of these two places? Detective, are you asking me out on a date? No. No, Chester. I'm asking you if you've heard of either place. I found this in Garcia's patrol vehicle after SID swept it supposedly clean. Yeah. Are you saying we... I didn't do my job? Um... Look, Detective, we didn't see it. I officially apologize. And no, I haven't heard of either place. They sound like dumps. I mean... To be honest, you also... I'm pretty sure it's these guys who missed the bone in Griffith Park as well, so... I mean, they're not doing a massively thorough job, are they? Um... Should we just show, like, all of our evidence and see what happens? Chester, I want DNA run on this. I think it might match what was in the alley. I don't think so, Detective. This is a menthol garden brand. The brand found in the alley is a quantum. Oh, we already did this, didn't we? So it's the wrong brand. Um, so we've got the shoe. What do you think of this shoe, Chester? I found it close to Garcia's dumping site in a flower bed at Yo Money's house. I think I could use it as a water ski. Actually, I think that Money's a huge star and probably has lots of women. It probably belongs to one of them. You don't think it belongs to Garcia, do you? <laughs> don't think so. Um, have we got anything else we can show? I'm pretty sure we showed this before. What's this? Departmental follow-up form 3.14. Okay, so that's just like the normal forms. What's this one? Okay, that's just the thing about the... Thing. Can we make any notes? The simulated leather no- No, just, can we make any notes? Chester's information is valid and important, but when the case goes to trial, SID will provide the reports on tested evidence. Okay, and we showed these before, didn't we, I think? Detective, you've shown these to me before, and I've already told you that I do not believe these could possibly have played a part in Hickman's death. Hmm, so, I wonder why she... See you later, Detective Carey. I wonder why she said that about those, but not the shoe and the cigarette, because I'm pretty sure we showed those Pressing as well. Pressing the button, you call the elevator. Okay, let's press the elevator. We'll go up to four. We'll do the same, I think. Ask questions, show everything we've got, which could be evidence. See if we can find anything else out, and then we'll try and fill out this form and hand it in. You select the fourth floor as your destination. At least we know where we're going in the building now. It took long enough, didn't it? Is it open? I think it is. Let's see. No, it's closed. Alright, well we're not going there. <laughs> Fine. Pressing the button, you call the elevator. Well, that was a quick visit, wasn't it? Cool. Right, floor three. You select the third floor as your destination. I do like the elevator music in this game. Or the, you know, several different elevator music tracks. It's one of the few things about this game that I would say I do like, to be honest. I mean, it's not all bad, but there, there is a lot to, to, to not like about this game, I would say, so far. Um, right, let's go into the office. Do you know what, let's hit a save, because we haven't done that for a while. Um, so what did we do? We spoke to Chester, didn't we? Spoke to Chester. Cool. Let's see, can we fill out this form? Uh, this one? You fill out follow-up report form 3.14 with information concerning found arm bone. Okay, so this is the form now that's about the bone. Here you go, Hal. Sure, Junior. Alright. Nice points. Can we talk to him? We can. Hal, what have you heard about a body with a similar M.O. showing up at Griffith Park? Hell, Junior, it looks like it belongs to us. I wasn't there, but that Nobles was. He knows all about it. Nobles? Who's Nobles? 
case updates. What have you got in the way of updates, Hal? You're damn lucky you got me as a partner, Junior. I got friends everywhere. I was the first one my buddies over at Hollenbeck called. Seems they got the patrol car, Garcia's patrol car. Seems the damn thing was found abandoned at Hollywood and Vine. Yeah, we know that already. What about Hollywood and Vine? Hollywood and Vine? That wasn't Garcia's patrol area, was it? Hell no, it ain't, Junior. Seems our good son ain't so good. Either that or hell, Junior, he was good at something damn good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean... I don't think that's really relevant now that we've been there, to be quite honest. Let's grab another form. You take a 3.14 follow-up report form out of your desk drawer. Doesn't look like there's anything on there to look at. Um, okay, let's save again. And we'll call it, I don't know, submitted form. And then, I, don't, I mean, I don't really know what to do now. Submitted form. Maybe we go speak to the captain? And failing that, I mean, the only other lead we've got is the bone, right? Yeah? Harry, come back later. God, this guy never has any time to talk to us, does he? Okay, so... I mean, we've got... It hasn't progressed to the next day, so there must be something that we've missed. It could be to do with the bone at the coroner. You call the elevator. Or I guess it could be like Dennis Walker's house or something. I, I really don't see the point of going back there, seeing as he's now, you know, locked up. Or he, he got arrested in the in the court, didn't he? Or the city hall, whatever it was. Um, you select the lobby as your destination. Yeah, I, I don't really know. Let's go to the um, the coroner. Maybe he's had time to, like, run some tests on the bone or something like we asked him to. If not, then we'll go to Dennis Walker's house and just visit literally everywhere. Uh, I don't think... Is there anywhere else that we haven't revisited? We've been there. We've been there already. Been... There. Been there. Been to Hickman's house. That's closed. Griffith Park as well, so maybe we'll do Griffith Park and then Dennis Walker's house, and, and then also Yo Money's estate as well. To be fair, let's do that. Let's go to the um, the morgue. We'll see if the coroner can. Okay. Miss Moore, what can you tell us about the latest victims and what's being termed this city's most gruesome murder spree? Don't tell them anything. Me? Well, I uh, nothing really. Am I going to be on TV? Miss Moore, is it true that all the victims have been tortured, mutilated? Don't say anything. Well, they're... they're... not all there. Um... Uh... Miss Moore, is it true that Officer Rene Garcia and the latest male victim and unidentified John Doe were both found not only tortured, but naked? Don't tell them anything. Uh, well, yes. I mean, well, no. Can we not interrupt? He... Is that camera on? So, Miss Moore, are you confirming that John Doe was not entirely nude? That he was found with a pair of nylons on his person? Is it true the nylons were wrapped around his neck? No details, please, come on. How'd you know that? Oh, my God. So you are confirming this information? Stop confirming things. Detective Carey, can you comment on the nylons wrapped around the neck of the no, victim? No, we can't, we can't, and we won't. I have nothing to say to you, Bilden, nor does Miss Moore. Hi, Detective Carey. Don't say Carey, it. I'm taking you home. Bilden, you muck up my investigation and I'll have your job. Come on, Sherry. Oh, well, Detective that... Detective Carey, the public has a right to know. It's their safety at stake. Detective Carey... Oh, my God. In the wake of this city's worst nightmare, five people, including two Los Angeles police officers, have been found mutilated and murdered. And those city officials and the LAPD deny there is reason to panic. The citizens of Los Angeles feel quite differently. Gun sales are up, and security companies are deluged with requests for home alarm systems. Factors contributing to the urgency and concern by LA residents are the randomness and violence of these murders. Earlier today, I spoke with Sherry Moore, an L.A. County Coroner's employee, who confirmed one element of this killing spree. Oh, my spree. God. 
evidence found in the latest male victim indicates that the murders might have been committed by a woman. If true, then this is the first case in the history of Los Angeles where a female serial killer has held the city in her grip. I'm Christy Bilden, reporting for KKAT. I mean, that's really annoying. Oh, it's Thursday now, okay. I mean, it's really annoying because now the killer, if they see this, is going to know Sherry, we've what you did got info. By talking to the press caused citywide panic. Do you understand that? What this investigation does not need is a city full of people arming themselves, holding up, and not talking to the police. Yep. Yep, not John, great. Sherry didn't mean any harm. She was taken by surprise by that newswoman. I mean, you would Poor say you, that. Sherry. I don't care. The result is that the city is in a panic. The mayor is up in arms, and the press is having a field day with this investigation and the department. I'm really, really sorry, Detective Carey. I thought maybe they're from Star Search, or maybe Entertainment Tonight. Honest, Detective Carey, I didn't mean to cause any trouble. I, mean, I wouldn't hurt a fly. It's done Even now. flying around and, like, you know, buzzing in my ear. Honest. John, how can you be mad at a girl like that? I mean, she just leaked info about the, the case, so... Alright then, guys, well, I'll tell you what, maybe we're going to find out about this bone now, who knows? Uh, but we will leave it there because we're out of time, so as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne Nate, Tumley Nerdy, Paul for the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, Numinous, Kumadim, Paulie Ohm, Flossie the Sheep, Jonathan Conley, and Chrissy, and I'll see you next time.